<laughs> Yo, uh, I was gonna ask you this. You probably had hella weed companies um, hitting you up trying to make a strain from your name. You know mm. what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. have you? Uh, why hasn't it happened yet? I'm sure you've had the opportunity. It's gonna happen. Oh, trust me, it's gonna happen. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the right time, and it's got to happen organically. I don't want to do some shit that I'm not 100% on board with, mm -hmm. but it's going to happen. Very soon, we're going to get the Yodi Land, Packington. Shit's going to be fire. That shit's going to be mega fire. I need it. And then when you smoke it, necessarily, perhaps at the end of the day, you're going to be like, yeah, I'm somewhere out in Yodi <laughs> Land, blowing pack all kind of strands, and there is no going back. motherfucker best believe it holy shit wow <laughs> i could just picture that on tiktok right i now. feel like you're more of a singer than you are a rapper because i noticed that in your songs too yeah, you like I'm to really fucking hit the vocals i couldn't freestyle like i couldn't hop up on this bitch and spit a freestyle but you write all your own shit yeah it's more i just punch it in mm. like yeah would you ever spin the block and shoot at your ops or like make a drill song or anything like that or nah? No, That's no. not Yodi Land approved? <laughs> it, I mean, shit, I listen to music like that, but I would be lying if I was making some music like that. It just wouldn't be me. Do you yeah. ever feel bad when you're listening to some drill music and they're rapping about smoking on some kid that you don't even know? Mm. And you're singing along and it sounds hard as fuck, but then you kind of feel bad. Shit. <laughs> I guess I haven't really listened to that kind of music in a minute. I've been listening to a lot of Larry June and Baby Smooth. Yeah. Yeah. They're not killing they, anyone, really. They don't really rap about that shit too heavy. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Um, can we go back to the Xanax thing? Like, how did you first experiment with that? And what was that period of your life like? Shit. So that was 2018. That was a peculiar moment of my life. You feel me? I was depressed and stressed out at that moment of my life. And then, I don't know, we were just chilling. I was chilling with my homies one night. We were with some girl type shit. And then fucking, yeah, she was like, you guys want to do Zans? I was like, we're like, fuck it. We're like, <laughs> fuck it, bro. What did you think it was going to be like versus what it was actually like? Um, Shit, so basically we crushed it up and I put it in a soda, like half a bar for me, like half. Crushed it up, put it in a soda. That's a lit way to take it. Like a goddamn little ass New York seltzer. So I drank that shit fast as hell. <laughs> and then, yeah, then I took some shots of tequila and then basically I blacked out. Jeez. But then I remember someone with us like didn't do, they said they were going to do it. Then they didn't do it. So we had an extra one. Then this girl crushed it up. And then like me and my homie were like, fuck it. And then we snorted the rest, bro. Oh, my yeah. God. Dude. That combined with the tequila. Yeah, bro. Sounds like, like you weren't waking up, up anytime your, soon. This is your first time doing it? Yeah, and then, goddamn, I had like a half ounce of weed, and then I just woke up the next morning. I was like, fuck. Weed gone, for sure, like, right? fuck, I need a blunt. No. Nope. And then I look at my jar, like, <laughs> where the fuck did it go? And I was looking through my Snapchat memories, just rolling that shit up like a fucking idiot. The Xanax version of yourself is definitely not leaving enough weed for the next day. I'm nah. kind of surprised. I feel like the first time someone takes like a pill, they will just you know consume the pill and just drink some water. You, on Yodi Land, you, you that's just not real too. I'm just talking bro. about in Minecraft. That was a Minecraft experience. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> you, you, they got Zans bro. in Minecraft. Yeah, that was a role play Minecraft experience. Wow. Not real life. The kids, it's not cool. Don't do that shit. You feel me? It's not cool, bro. I haven't done that shit since 2018. Would you do a Zan with Dream? Nah, I wouldn't <laughs> do a Zan. It's not cool. Yeah, but yeah. like, okay. You kept going after that, though. Yeah. You had like that disastrous months. night, and then you kept going? Like, when, few, when did you decide to months. stop? Uh, I just realized, I was like, bro, I'm kind of losing myself. Mm. And then, like, something took a hold of me, and then I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And I just stopped doing it. I didn't get too deep. Go off. The, I didn't go off the deep end too much. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's good you have that in you to, like, kind of stop yourself and think about, you know, how bad it was. But w were you consuming, like, daily? Or were you Maybe like, at, like, every other day at, like, the last part of it, you know? Jeez, just by yourself or, like, with your yeah, friends? Yeah, just in my Roomington making beats and shit. <laughs> okay, I feel that. Xanax is, like, evil weed. Kind it's of, like, yeah. It's kind of like weed, but it just has this, like, evil layer and to it. And I was it. taking some fake shit. Ooh, oh, shit. That's not good, yeah. Fuck yeah, we buying this for some girl, like, selling it for $5, getting it from some dude who probably made it in the garage. When did you <laughs> realize it was fake? Fuck. Probably like well after I quit. 
Oh, really? Yeah, like, yeah. Damn. I feel like 2018 is when, like, fentanyl was already around, too, so it's it's good Most thing. definitely. Yeah, it's a mm. good thing you never fucking came across one of those. That's dangerous as fuck. I remember one time in Vegas, the, the homie from the UK bought, like, $500 worth of coke, and it ended up being fake, and he just did it all anyway. Oh, Hell my God. No. But, like, not even, like, fentanyl. It was just, like, baby powder or some shit, oh and he just did God. it all anyway. <laughs> just hoping there's a fucking speck of real coke in there. I don't there. know. Maybe it had a little bit of something in it. It had a little bit of something that was making him feel good jesus but uh know. yo uh you said uh, you were planning to do a 24-hour stream last time i was oh, talking to you speaking yuri's language oh uh, i was trying to um forget about that oh, <laughs> shit. you don't wanna no once i move into my new spot i'm gonna do a 24-hour stream i still live with my mom really yeah i'm yeah i'm moving out soon though how do you think that's gonna change you not having it's gonna your be, mom around. It's going to be way better for the live streams. Like, me having my own spot. Like, the mm -hmm. live streams are going to be crazier. But do you uh, do you and your mom get along well? Yeah, I love my mom. My mom's the goat. Really? My, my dad's the goat, too. Your mom's 420 friendly? Yes. They're not together anymore? Uh, no, they divorced in 2016. Mm. Yeah. Was that tough for you, or were you old enough that you didn't really care that much? It, it was kind of tough. I didn't understand why, but then, I don't know, I feel like everything happens for a reason. Like, mm. if that shit didn't happen, I wouldn't be the person I am today, and they shouldn't have stayed together if they didn't get along, you know? I mean, that's a weird part of growing up, is realizing that your parents are just people like you, yeah. and that they go through human shit, and that, And no parent know? is going to be perfect, but yeah. if both of your parents... Did the best they could and they're in your life and motherfuckers is super like blessed right that's true it's hella blessed there's people who just don't care to try at all you know what i mean like yeah. not even a little bit so yeah 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 just forget Humans about you aren't perfect bro is this a typical yodi land roach you're leaving like an inch and a half on these is yeah, this like you, you stopped smoking done. pretty early damn you, you got some nice weed right there still left over you could throw that in the next one right eating tin it <laughs> Would Dude, you? He's the man. He, yeah, I seen he him inhale me. two I, huge roaches. He was trying to convince me to eat a fucking roach <laughs> on the live stream. Oh shit! Don't yeah, touch that. I was trying to convince him last time to do a Wu Tang, and he's like, "Fuck no, never." <laughs> Dude, I have a reel that I think is still on my Instagram of Yuri blasting through two of them in a row. He, oh yeah, I did two of them in one day. Then did like, and then I told him I, I ate a, a blunt with a fork and knife one point. And uh, that was the worst oh, thing ever. Exquisite. No, it was. It was. It looked exquisite, but it, it didn't feel exquisite. The next hour or two, I felt very nauseous. A blunt. You just like chewed it up. Yeah. The someone specifically requested, they're like, "Yo, if I donate a hundred dollars, will you roll up a blunt and eat it with a fork and knife?" And I was like, "Got you." A hundred dollars. Yes. That doesn't sound worth it. I thought it, it was. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Sometimes I just get this energy and I have to let it out. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe, get us to 500K. Yeah.